working on key fob and what I did I took the image on put it onto the screen and then I took and put the circle here around it okay and I put another circle here for the actual keychain part so you can put it in there and when I went into the engrave I put it as a mirror image so it burns on the back side that's going to be the frosted side so when it burns it in it makes it a glossy appearance once it gets done burning all these images here I'm going to delete the center images and then I'm going to up that amperage to 15 and I'm going to reburn these here one time and I'm going to see if that will take care of it I had to burn this several times but I'm not sure if it was just me or if it already had burned in and I was just sitting there wasting time the first time that I did this so I've learned not to try to reposition anything as you can tell trial and error this I deleted the inside data got it set to 15 and I'm burning each of the outside of this as you can see it's doing the outside of the key fob Now I made it in the program that's going to make it two pass. It's going to start the first task, but I'm going to check and see if that's thick enough of a cut. I'm going to push down on one. If it pokes through, then great. I won't have to make a second pass since it's on 15 percent. stinks when you do it this way but and try not to move the plexiglass can see move the plexiglass okay I just tested it it's not all the way through so we run another time which have already got it set to do a second burn tell us finish so it's going to do this one more time as you notice the second slot there that's for the actual keychain to go into kind of ingenious to have something like this you can pretty much prototype your design and what you want to do and what it looks like you kind of see firsthand what it does It does put off quite a bit of smoke. Now let's see if that'll do it. it looks nice. I just wish when I did it, I'd offset it to the left instead of the center. It's not quite ready. I'm going to do one more burn. We'll see what happens. One grave. I'm going to do one path. Let's see this as repeat. I'm going to do it, set it to one until it's starting. And at 15%, this should be the last path that I have to do for this. Actually, I think it is be will be because I believe I can see smoke from both sides of it.
Yep. So I know it's going through. This is 0 0.05 millimeter thickness for the plexiglass. And that should be the final cut, I would imagine, I would hope. I don't have a good way to pop the phone. So. I'm gonna put the phone right, right there. Hopefully, you don't go blind. I'm gonna press down on both sides. And it's still not all the way through. Okay. One more pass it is. As you can see, you never know. It should burn it right through this time. Things you learn while you're doing this. And this should be the final cut, I would imagine. And hopefully, as you watch my videos, you'll continue this and watch my videos. And I'm going to be doing all kinds of different sorts of testing different ideas like this. This is my first, actually my second try making key fobs. I made the first one that was smaller and actually that's the second one. The first one, it didn't do too well when I tried resizing it and relining it. So I tried it on a different size. You can actually buy this at a, a store. Um, it's called Menards.com I'm sure the Lowe's has it. And this was just acrylic sheet. This is meant to be a, re, a replacement glass for picture, picture frames. So it's got a reflective side and it's got a not so reflective side. So I've been burning on this side that's not reflective. So it will actually shine through on the uh, other side, the shiny side, the acrylic side. And hopefully, yep, we're through. I'll take that first indication as we're going through. And you can actually see that it burned into the metal here. That's there one. Now let me, what I should have done is told it to reset, I'm going to move that out of my way, and I will find that missing piece. So, and I cut out a section here. So the actual keychain could fit into it. This doesn't seem to be all the way through, so it might have a little discrepancy there. That one made it. Oh, there we go. And there you have it. Homemade key fobs. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.